Hi guys, this week's video is the first of a brand new series that I'm starting and this one is Ankara Inspired. Meet Abele, my beautiful model for um, today. I pulled inspiration from the fabric mainly for her lips and we kept everything else nice and soft and just enhanced her features. I'm starting off with her face, so now I'm priming her face with a moisturizer. This one is Le Creme Concentré from Embryolis. I'm applying it with a brush, smoothing it over with my fingers, and then my onto foundation. I mix two different shades of RCMA foundation to get a shade really close to her skin tone, and I'm applying that all over her face with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. When her base is done, I'm now going to highlight her face. I'm applying a lighter shade of the same foundation to the center of her face, under her eyes, the middle of her forehead, down her nose, and her chin as well. Once I put the highlight in place, I'm now going to blend it with a beauty blender that is damp with very um, soft tapping motions. I tap, tap, tap till it's all blended together and there are no longer any harsh lines. To add some warmth to her face, I'm now going to contour her face and I'm using a liquid foundation. This one is Matchmaster Foundation by MAC in 9.5. I applied that under her cheekbones, round um, her forehead and down the sides of her nose as well. Then I'm back in with the Damp Beauty Blender to blend it all together and then we're setting. I'm setting her highlights with Banana Powder from Ben Nye with a dry beauty blender. So everywhere we put the lighter foundation, we set with Banana Powder. I also put some right under her cheekbones for extra drama. Her contour is set with Ebony Bronze Bronzer from CoverGirl. I put that down her nose as well, pulled it into the sockets of her eyes, and then I'm pushing away all the extra um, banana powder now, whisking everything away and blending in as I do that. And once I'm done with that, I set the rest of her face with her own shade of powder. This one is Olive Sand from Ben Nye. blend to get a nice even complexion. Her blush is Plum Riche from Fashion Fair and we're on to the eyes where all the fun happens. I filled in her brows with brow gel from Higa and Esther. This one is Nubia, the lighter shade. If you are darker than Ebele, you could try Ebony, which is a darker shade. I applied it with a small synthetic brush and then brushed over it with a spoolie to distribute. Now I'm cleaning up the brows with the same um, light foundation that I highlighted her face with. I'm applying that with a small synthetic brush and I blended it in with my fingertips. I primed her eyelids with MAC Paint Pot in Quite Natural. I applied that with a synthetic brush from um, Royal Langnickel and then I blended it out with my fingertips. In her crease, I'm applying a matte brown eyeshadow from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This one is called Succubus. I don't know if that's how to pronounce it. On her lids, I'm applying um, eyeshadow from Peggy Sage. This one is Beige Rosé. It's a very, um, it's a beautiful satin finish eyeshadow with a very natural kind of skin like feel to it. So that goes all over her eyelids. And if you notice, I applied this a little higher than her actual eyelid to create the illusion of a bigger eye. Blend the edges out and then I'm applying some matte black eyeshadow. This is Shax from the same Kat Von D palette just to the very outer edge of her crease and I'm going to blend that out. I'm not blend to pull it out too far. I want it to be nice and fuzzy and blended but I don't want it to go out too far towards her brow. Blend, blend, blend. And then I lined her upper lash line with Tattoo Liner, also from Kat Von D in Trooper, which is black. I set her brow bone with Sphinx Loose Pigment from Magnolia Makeup and blended that nice into the transition color and we're done with the shadow. Her lashes are number 966 lashes from Friends Beauty. I applied that with clear lash glue from Amazing Shine and a pair of tweezers. I pushed them in place so they dry in the perfect place. Her waterline, I applied blonde eyeliner from Auraline Beauty. Remember, we're still trying to create the illusion of bigger eyes, so that's why I used a light color in her waterline. Then her lower lash line, I smudged out some matte um, black eyeshadow. 
and we're done with the eyes. Her lips are going to be nice and red. Now the red in the fabric is bright red, but I wanted her lips to be deeper. So I lined them with Current Lip Liner from MAC. I line it with the pencil, then brush it in to blend it in and fuzz it out with a lip pencil, with a lip brush, sorry. And then over that, I'm applying a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Vampira. This liquid lipstick is giving me all kinds of life, okay? And I don't even normally say that. It's a beautiful, deep, kind of oxidized red type of shade, and it has an almost golden yellow undertone. It's beautiful. So I did cleaned it up with some foundation and we are done. She loved the finished result and we did too. I think the bold lip paired with the fabric looks absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. More info and details on the blog. See you next week.